doing? Uh, another night. It's early, it's like 7. On a Sunday morning. And I sold a couple of panties yesterday. <laughs> to the cutest couple. They had matching tracksuits, but it was really cool. I mean, it sounds kind of cheesy, but these, these two worked it. And it was perfect. Beautiful. And I noticed that. It's like some people, I don't know if it's just the, the Awakened get my paintings and, and if you're not high vibration and you just ignore it, I've seen people walk by my vehicle literally not even glance. Imagine having somebody having art strewn around their vehicle and people don't even acknowledge it. And then I have kids go by. You know, just you see people look on, you know, the people that get it, you see the look on their face before they even talk to me or they, if they even do, they're just like, ooh. Old lady driving by with her husband, and he was just not paying attention. She just saw it. She's like, "Oh my God, look at all that pretty art!" Because you can, you know, you can lip read. You know, I get, I, I got some compliments. It was good. Yesterday was a good day. I got some positive reinforcement, so that was good. And <clears throat> I met somebody. Not like that. His name is Saint Sammy. At least that's what he was. That's the nickname the locals were giving him. And he's homeless. And he's been homeless for a while. And he was dealing with addictions. And he was in Corvallis or whatever. And God told him to come to Newport. And he came to Newport. And he slept outside the art gallery across the way over here. And he was talking, telling me about it for seven months. He slept outside this art gallery. And they allowed it. The city, not only the city, this is the amazing part. Not only did the city allow it, but the first night, apparently, the person that runs the art gallery, you know, told him to buzz off, right? And then he decided to come back later and help the art gallery load some stuff and change the art gallery guy's mind, which was cool. He changed his heart. And he also told me that people were coming up to him, like when he first got here, people were coming up to him and giving him $100 bills and saying that God sent them. People, people don't give out hundred dollar bills to bums. Most people don't. And so obviously there's something to that. People. Whew. Sorry, it's me. Excuse me, I'm getting to a point. It happens. I'm a human being. I get emotional. I have to cry. And I was thinking about myself. And I was like, I'm an empath, but I'm an introvert. Hiding away my my apartment, painting, dealing with my pain and healing. And how do you get an introvert to care about others? Throw them out in the world. I gotta be honest. Um, and how I met Sammy? Um, there was a group of people surfing. You know, I think I mentioned the guy in my last video about the guy that was putting on the wetsuit, and they had a bunch of pizza, and they had leftover pizza. And this guy comes over and brings me two boxes of two pizzas. And he said, "You know, share with your buddies, whoever they are." Right? And it was really cool. He's a cool guy. And so I saw Sammy, and I've, I've talked to him a couple times before. I've seen him, you know, he's mentioned, you know, he just said, he just said something, you know, nice guy. So I offered him some pizza. I was like, dude, you want some pizza? I'm not eating at all. And I knew he was homeless, so he was thankful. And that's when he started talking to me and telling me about his story. Like I said, people don't give out $100 bills. Earth Angels. That pretty little bitch. I'm sorry. That is not going to get on camera. I'm sorry if you don't care. This guy is interesting. It's like, 
I told, I told him, I, I instantly said, you know, you're an earth angel. Earth angels are here to help others grow in their spiritual life. And they're in an attempt to be better humans. You see somebody suffering, and you respond. Or to have, to have people come up and say, God sent me to give you a $100 bill, that's even cooler. <clears throat> Yeah, but I was just thinking about St. Sammy, man. And Newport took care of him. And he was in Corvallis, and he's a vet. And he was in Corvallis, and he got an apartment. And the guys in the apartment just were treating like shit. And they wanted to evict him because they accused him of some stuff. He wasn't even home. He was out here in Newport. But obviously, he's like, I'd rather be homeless than live in a place where they don't want me. So, <clears throat> But hopefully, Newport will take him in, but he's been back and forth, but Newport, interesting town, man, I'm telling you, I, like I said, I trusted God in the universe, and I bailed, I jumped in this vehicle, and I just head for the hills, and went on my adventure, not knowing what I was doing, why I was doing this, it's, it's, it has, it takes a lot of faith, and, I, and it was hard, You can see my videos, and I talk about, you know, here I am, you know, so-and-so, Alabama Hills, or Middle Arizona Desert, or Grand Canyon. But it takes a lot of strength, and a lot of times I didn't know what I was doing. I was scared. And I had faith. And look where it led me. You know, that's what tomorrow brings. Hopefully blessings. We're, we're, we're here to learn lessons. We're here to help, to help others to grow. Some of us there's a lot of people aren't growing. There's a lot of, I didn't want to mention it. I don't want to go into that part because there's a lot of, I had some old Oriental guy come up to me yesterday and I thought he wanted to talk about my paintings. And so I said, you know, I'm talking really soft. And I, you know, 16 hour limit. City must be very, gen very generous. Like he had a problem with me being parked here overnight. That was his thing. He wasn't like your art's pretty or you know, you're still here, huh? And nobody's kicked you out. Yeah, it was not a very nice person. I don't leave it at that. Anybody, and I mean anybody, especially during this time, is going to begrudge somebody, any spot, anywhere. It's a horrible fucking thing to bring them. I'm sorry. Period. No love, no grace. And there's people like that walking around. You're gonna, you're gonna meet them. You're gonna, you're not gonna understand them because they're, they're. I don't know. I can't explain it. Low vibration. They're just. They didn't know. When the great awakening is happening, there's some people that ain't gonna be coming along. No heart. No grace. That's all right. We don't want those people at the party, right? Like I'm here. I'm homeless. I'm sitting. But I have something to offer. I'm not I'm not drinking myself silly halfway through the day. You know, rabid customers, you know, tourists walking by. I'm trying to keep myself clean. I need to shave and but that's another story. But yeah, I'm pl I'm polite. I don't even throw out signs for money or anything. I just ha hook my, I just have my art on my car parking in my parking spot. So I'm not I'm not a vendor. I'm not advertising. There's no for sales. There's no prices on anything. It's, some, it's just the gallery. It's just a display. If somebody wants something, they can donate some money, and I'll give them a painting. That's how I'm working it. That's how you have to work it if you don't have a vendor's license. There's little tricks that people work them. 
Oh, it was it was a good day. Yesterday was a good day, despite any little hiccups from some or, old Oriental dude who seemed to think it had a problem with me being here overnight. I've been here for two nights. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna be here for another night, maybe. Who knows? Then I'll move on to another spot. But I just want you to know, there's good people in the world. There's miracles. There's love. There's light. There's angels walking them. And you may just be one of them. So remember that. Love and light, people. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. And you're a miracle. And I love you. And I already said that, but.